It stretches across the horizon as far as the eye can see. Iceberg A23A. One Antarctic scientist said it feels like sailing alongside a new country. Only it's a country of solid ice. And now it's on the move. Slowly over time it would melt a bit off and then what happened about a year ago or so is that it became buoyant enough that it actually started to float. It was at one time a glacier sliding atop Antarctica until a massive piece broke off the ice shelf in 1986. 4,000 square kilometers, the largest iceberg in the world. It is more than two-thirds the size of Prince Edward Island. One iceberg. It was grounded for about 35 years, but this year began moving through the Wendell Sea. Just since October, satellite images show it drifting quickly beyond Antarctica into the southern Atlantic Ocean. Next stop could be the South Georgia Islands. And keep in mind, that colossal thing we can see is only the tip of the iceberg. Up to 90% of icebergs are below the surface. The biggest ones could threaten communications cables in shallow areas and overall could pose a risk to ocean vessels in shipping lanes. It could still um, make its way reasonably far north up towards kind of South Africa um, where it can disrupt shipping. Antarctica always has lots of icebergs, thousands if you count the small ones, but more are being created and they're melting faster. We have warmed the climate of Antarctica, and now it's answering back, raising sea levels and affecting ocean currents. It's important to track icebergs in real time. As they melt, they deliver the fresh water into the ocean. That's a freshwater flux into the ocean, then can impact the ocean circulation. It all points to global warming that is putting Antarctica's ice shelves under stress. They uh, could potentially melt more quickly, and that will lead to more of these icebergs, but also lead to sea level rise. It's really uh, another sign that we're really changing the, the climate. And, uh, you know, we don't have much time to, to reverse these things before the impacts become catastrophic. A23A will probably melt in the next four years, but more big icebergs are coming. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.